Hey YouTube, Israel here with another knife review. Today I have a knife by Blackhawk. You know them, they make uh, gear for police and military, mag pouches, everything, and knives. This is the Blackhawk Hawk Point knife. And as you can see, it's a very, uh, very small and handy knife. Thumb stud opening, close up of the blade. You see it's a, a fairly wide for its length, a drop point, and you can see, um, they put a little uh, bottle opener there. Also makes it lighter. Um, yeah, nice kind of uh, thick drop point blade. All right, and you see the uh, the handle here. I could swear that this was G10, okay, but I looked it up and they say it's it's FRN glass filled nylon. Uh, it is fairly thick. Maybe that's why it's, it definitely feels a lot more sturdy than most FRN and. I swear it feels like I swear it feels like G10 and looks like G10, but they say it's FRN, and you see there's some crosshatch texturing and some uh, uh, deep vertical lines there. All right, and the other side is the clip side, and that's actually uh, I believe that's 420J steel. Okay, it is a uh, a frame lock. I think when I first showed this uh, in the unboxing. In, in my joy, <laughs> in my enthusiasm for getting new knives, I think I said it was a liner lock, but it is actually a frame lock. See that there? A dual thumb stud opening. All right, and overall, you know, one of the, the price tag on this, it's around, around uh, 40, all right? And, Oh wow, YouTube fucking, uh, fucking telemarketer called me and, uh, you know, the conversation, uh, it went something like, hello, who the hell is this? Oh, uh, w would you like it if I called you at home? Can I have your home number? Oh no? All right. We'll get to walking, bitch. No, I'm, j I'm just kidding. I didn't, I didn't say bitch, but all right. Fucking, you know, no, I don't want to buy any of your crap. All right. Anyway. Back to the knife review. I, I wish I could just, uh, you know, find a telemarketer and, all right, all right, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that. Okay, so the reason I bought this knife, I wanted to review it for you guys because just, just look how, it, it's such a handy dandy little thing. And I know you guys, just like me, are crazy about little items of EDC gear. You always want these little, uh, you know, keychain type flashlights and stuff like this. And this would be really useful. You know, obviously it's pretty light and, and uh, slim design, very conventional. And one great thing about this, you know, in my opinion, it looks a lot more like a tool rather than uh, any sort of weapon. You know, it's very short. Let me get the length on this. All right, very, uh, all right, the length on this. Okay, it's just, all right, it's, it's 2.5 inches, almost exactly 2.5 inches. So if you have like one of those Nazi blade length limits of like has to be shorter than three inches, this will get you under, you know, whatever city or country limit that is. But, um, you know, like as far as police and EMTs and stuff, this item, it looks like a normal item of gear. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had this on your belt, it just looks like another item of gear. It doesn't look like a gigantic bayonet for killing people, okay? So um, yeah, if you have a, prof in a professional capacity, if you're a technician or something, this is a nice little unobtrusive uh, way to go. And you know, I consider this, um, obviously it's a, it's a frame lock knife, but I kind of pretty much consider it to be uh, just kind of like a utility knife on steroids or a, su a super deluxe type of utility blade. That's that's what I consider. You know, it's not going to win any beauty pageants compared to like, uh, you know, uh, Foliage Green Delica or something. Um, but, you know, Blackhawk is not about collectibles. It's about uh, stuff for uniformed professionals. And in that role, uh, I think it's really nice. Um, I haven't seen any other reviews of it you know, before I bought it and, but I could see from the, the pictures, you know, I thought, ah, uh, around $40 looks a little expensive for a teeny knife, but 
I could also tell from the pictures that it had a lot of potential and now that I have it in my hands uh, I, I really like it. I mean, I think I think a lot of people would like to have this. You'll just find a thousand and one little uses for it when you're, you're not able to carry a bigger blade. And or you could carry this when you have a bigger blade as an edge saver. In other words, little crappy little tasks that you don't want to screw up the uh, nice edge on your you know big expensive knife. You can use this little pug beater knife. Uh, deployment on the the detent on this is very strong. It's definitely not going to come out uh, come out in your pocket. Um, you have to press on the thumb stud fairly hard to open it, but you know it's not it's not that difficult. But uh, you could you could file down the detent if you really wanted to. Yeah, and the lock up uh, very secure, frame lock, nice, efficient mechanism, and uh, yeah, I mean overall. I, I would even go far as to say anyone who does EDC, you know, everyday carry of, of like small multi-tools and, and a knife and a flashlight and a lighter would probably like this knife. This would make an awesome gift. I mean, if you know any, uh, any technicians, mechanic, uh, carpenter, blue collar workers, uniform professionals, this would make an awesome little gift, you know? Um, yeah, I think most of my uh, subscribers are the type that would really like to have one of these. And, uh, you know, $40, it's a little bit pricey. I think they should go down to 30 and I think everyone would buy one at 30 But, um, yeah, I do, I do recommend it as a, a, nice, uh, a nice small compact utility nice knife. <laughs> Pun intended, a nice knife. Um, the initial sharpness. It, it is pretty sharp, and, and that's a nice amount of belly for such a small knife. Nice amount of belly. So, the Black Hawk Hawk Point. Uh, yes, it is a, a recommended uh, smaller super utility knife. And bam! Alright, YouTube, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Israel. Stay tuned for many more, and I am out. Peace out, dudes.